Okay, so those uh, for those users who are trying to connect an SD90 with a um, with a Roland V accordion, uh, I wanted to uh, maybe help you with the initial configuration so that you can set the MIDI channels and and the general configuration between the two up correctly so that you won't have any issues communicating uh, uh, with the SD, in my case, 90, and I'm going to be using an 8X, but it's the same for all of them. So what you're going to want to do is when you bring up the editor, you're going to want to go into System and uh, go into MIDI. And you'll see at the very top you have Real-Time RX and TX. And so I'm just going to walk through these parameters so that you know what they should be. So for the accordion, it should be set to Channel 1. For Orchestra 1 and Organ, set it to Channel 1. For Orchestra 2, it should be set for Channel 1. For orchestra, excuse me, for bass and free bass, should be set to channel 2. For chord, should be set to channel 3. For orchestra bass, it should be set to channel 2. For orchestra chord, it should be set to channel 3. For orchestra free bass, I have mine off, but if you use it, you can set it to channel 2. Uh, and then the other ones, uh, drums should be uh, turned off. Uh, and the basic channel and the control channel also can be uh, turned off if you like. So again, there there's multiple ways to do this, and your way may be different, and if you understand it, uh, that's perfectly fine. But if, if we're trying to debug a problem together, uh, then we should be talking and make sure that this part of it works. So if you set your V accordion to match those parameters, you'll likely match 80% of the people out there, and more importantly, you'll match myself, and so that way we can continue to have discussions effectively and we know the MIDI channels will be properly configured. And now we'll go ahead and talk about what you need to do relative to the SD. So if you go into the uh, menu of the SD, what you're going to do first is we're going to select the play mode. And a play, play mode defines some basic configuration and operational uh, capabilities based on the instrument you're using. And in this case, we want to make sure that we have selected accordion styles. Okay, so when, uh, and you can also get in to see what that is by just pressing and holding for a second, and you'll see that those are the parameters, but there's no MIDI information that you need to worry about in this particular case. Um, okay, and uh, once you do that, uh, you can exit and press save and choose custom startup. And, and it will make sure that entry is saved then for each time you reboot. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into MIDI and we're going to make sure that the center um, icon accordion style and voice is selected. With that selected we're going to um, go into Arranger Keyboard and in Arranger Keyboard we're going to select RX and this is where you're going to make your channel selections. So you'll see that my right is channel 1, my left is channel 3, my bass is channel 2. Um, and then you should turn all the other channels off. Um, you can leave the last two, 16 and 15, or you can turn them off. It won't matter. That's for some advanced features. So, um, and then when you make those changes, go ahead and press Save. And then it'll ask you, do you want to save this MIDI preset? accordion style and voice say yes I'm not going to because I've done it um, and then that way the next time the SD series boots all of these parameters will be already established for you and um, and they should work so you should be able to uh, talk effectively uh, between a V accordion and an SD series arranger I um, hope that helps